Hello, I'm Michael Hartle. Welcome to Learn Enough Text Editor to be Dangerous. This tutorial is designed to help you learn to use what is arguably the most important item in the aspiring computer magician's bag of tricks, a text editor. Learning how to use a text editor is an essential component of technical sophistication. Most introductions to text editors are tied to a specific editor, and they are also usually aimed at people who are already professional developers. Learn Enough Text Editor to be Dangerous, on the other hand, doesn't even assume you know what a text editor is. Its only prerequisite is a basic understanding of the Unix command line, such as that provided by Learn Enough Command Line to be Dangerous. Learn Enough Text Editor to be Dangerous is ideally suited for people who want to learn the skills necessary to work with software developers or to become developers themselves. Even if you already know how to use a text editor, following this tutorial will help fill in any gaps in your knowledge, and you might even learn a few new tricks. The chances are pretty good that you already have some experience editing text with things like word processors or email clients, but that sort of text editing is different from what we'll be doing in this tutorial. Uh, when you use something like Word or Gmail, typically the text that you write in those cases is formatted in some way. And typically there's a what you see is what you get or WYSIWYG approach. This means, for example, if you want to indicate that text is emphasized, you actually see the text in italics. Text editors are a different kind of tool. They're used for editing plain text. So let me show you the distinction. Here we have the plain text source of one of the sentences in the Learn Enough Text Editor to be Dangerous tutorial. So I'm just going to copy it here. Now let's use the echo command to create a file with the contents we just copied. This is covered in Learn Enough Command Line to be Dangerous. Although this usage is actually a little bit novel, we're going to have a multi-line echo here. Open quote and then close quote here, and we'll redirect to a file, let's say, text.html. And now I'm going to use the OS10 open command to open this file. This will open text.html with the default application, which on my system is Chrome. And this is the result. If we look at the way that this page is rendered, we see emphasized in italics, boldface in boldface. The font size here is smaller, the typeface changes. So this is the sort of thing you would see in your actual application if you were using a word processor or an email client like Gmail. But if we look at the file, say with cat, we can see that that formatting does not appear in the actual text. Instead, something like emphasized is emphasized by virtue of these here. These are emphasis tags in HTML. Here's strong, that's what produces the boldface, and so on. Editing plain text means not having the formatting in the text itself, but rather having it indicated some other way. At first, this can take some getting used to, but ultimately the plain text approach is more powerful and more flexible than the WYSIWYG approach. Indeed, much of modern computing relies on plain text, not just for content like this HTML, but also for code. As a result, it's important to know how to use the right tool for editing this kind of text, namely a text editor. We'll begin by covering the basics of the important Vim text editor. While Vim is powerful, it can be difficult for beginners to use. So after covering the bare minimum, we'll move on to discuss editors that are friendlier for beginning users, with a focus on Sublime Text and especially Atom. It's important to note that in this tutorial, we focus on general principles. So no matter which editor you end up using, you'll have a good idea of the things that every text editor should be able to do. You also shouldn't feel any pressure to master everything at once. You can be productive with even a small subset of what's included in this tutorial. Because technically sophisticated people use text editors practically every day, you'll keep learning new tricks in perpetuity.